Hey there, Mr. Leatherwood. Hey, Mrs. Weeks. And this week we are talking about converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, and then we're going to reverse that on another video and do mixed numbers to improper fractions. This is so exciting. It is. And for those of you that two. and for those of <laughs> you that don't know, this is take two because our <laughs> app messed up. So, so yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> so to get started. An improper fraction is a fraction with a larger numerator than the denominator, mm -hmm. or a larger big top number top num than the bottom, bottom number. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's important to know. And then a mixed number, you'll also need to know this week, is a number with a whole number and a fraction. An example would be like two and a half, or three and then three fourths, something like that. Yep. Has a whole number and a fraction. So you need to know what they are before you can create them. All right. So right, that's yes, important. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with a couple examples. Let's do... 13 fourths. 13 I'm feeling... Fourths. That sounds familiar. That does sound familiar. This is only funny to us because we've already done it. Now this is clearly an improper fraction because it has a bigger numerator than denominator. Right. And we want to turn it into a mixed number. We want a whole number. Exactly. Um, so one way you can do this is using models. And I like to draw a little model of fourths. Yes. Since that's our denominator is mm -hmm. fourths, and we're trying to come up with 13 of them. So I'm just going to start coloring in 13 fourths. Unfortunately, you can't do that with only four parts. No. So what do I need to do? You're going to have to create another box and make another set of fourths. Okay. So that gets me to eight fourths. Mm, so it looks like you're going to have to do another one. Yay! Uh-oh, that one's not very equal. That's okay. Do, do, do. Imagine if you will. Yeah. So we're up to 12. 12. So we still need to go a little bit farther. Mm-hmm. And 12. This is 13. Right. So I am done. Yeah. Now, what does this tell me? I've done this wonderful model. What does it tell me? Well, each of those that are totally filled in represent four fourths Which or a whole. A whole. So. Okay. So it looks like you have one, two, three of those. Three. And then we have a little bit left over. Oh, yeah. So we know that we have three holes. Right. And we have one left over. So one part of that fourth. Yeah. There we go. That's right. Three and one fourth. Exactly. And because we were dealing in fourths the whole time, your denominator would always stay the same. Very good. So let's do another example, but instead of using models, we'll tell them like just the math. Right. Just the exactly. numbers. Exactly. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. So let's start with... Um, 27 fifths? Yep. Also familiar. Yes, also. <laughs> All right. So the important part here, and this is a lesson that I think is extremely important, especially coming from middle school, you need to know that a fraction is just another way of writing a division problem. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, what this really says is 27 divided by 5. All right. Okay. Um, so we can, we can write that. We can write it as 27 divided by 5. Mm. I'm going to use super 7 because I like it. Yep. So I know, let's see, 5 times 5 is 25. Right. So we can do that. It's 5 times. And then we have 2. two. Mm -hmm. So normally we would say this is 5 remainder 2. All right. But starting in 5th grade, we get to do something different. All right. We know that 5 is going to be our whole number, All just right. like normal. Mm-hmm. And then our 2 is what? That's going to be your numerator, that top number, because that was part of it. Yep. And then our denominator stays the same because we're still dealing in fifths. And it always stays the same. Yeah. Just like the one a second ago when we mm -hmm. did the models. We didn't change it. Some, it was stayed the a exactly. fourth. Okay. Exactly. Um, do one more? I think so. All right. Let's do one all more. Right. All right. So let's pick another one. Um... I forgot what the third one was. We'll have I don't to make remember. a new one. Um, decisions, I don't know decisions. either. Was it in sevenths? It was in it sevenths. Was in sevenths. But I don't remember what 37. it was. 37. No? 37 sevenths? Maybe. Yeah. 39? Whatever. Okay. We can do Let's 39. Go. 39 sevenths. 39 <laughs> sevenths it is. It's a random one. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, and give. I'll give you some time to work on it, and then we'll show them how to do it. All right. All right. And we're back. <laughs> okay. So we can do it two ways. We can draw models or we can divide. But
because mm -hmm. we know that this is really 39 divided by 7. Right. Okay, top number goes inside the house mm -hmm. or whatever you want to say. Yep. So let's do that. 39 divided by, divided by 7. seven. Yep. I know that 35, so 7, seven times, times 5. five. Yep. Uh -huh. And then we'll do 5 out here. Mm -hmm. And just subtract and we get 4. Right? Yeah. Is that it? So it looks like we have that whole number is going yeah. to be 5. Uh -huh. We've got that remainder that's 4, so that's going to be. Okay. Yep. Which is 5. And with then our four. 4 is our numerator, and we keep that 7 yeah. as our just denominator. To, just going to move it over here. Mm -hmm. So our answer would be 5 and 4, four sevenths. sevenths. And you could do models too, just cutting them up into sevenths and coloring them in. You'd end up having five whole numbers. Mm -hmm. Our whole models colored in and then one with four colored in. Yes, so you right. have one box that has seven and only four there. There we go. All right, good job. Um, Great job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hook them. Oh, you got it. <laughs>